What's up my gamers, it's Kaden, and today I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about the Dripply. But first, if you liked the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Let's get right into it. A bit of a disclaimer is that drip leaves cannot be found naturally right now because lush caves are not in the game. So once lush caves and azalea trees are found in the game, then you will be able to find drip leaves. But at the moment, they can only be spawned in with commands and in creative. First, we're going to start with the small drip leaf. So first, you're going to need to know about the small drip leaf is that they can only be placed in water. And also, you can't stand on the small drip leaf. The small drip leaf is good for growing big drip leaves though, so you can grab bone meal, place it, and as you can see, it grows all the way up there, and then obviously you can keep growing it with the bone meal if you like. The highest a drip leaf can go naturally is five blocks, but as you can see, if you keep using bone meal, it can grow way higher than five blocks. Now, how to obtain a big drip leaf is to go over to the drip leaf, and then you can break it with your fist, or with an axe, which is the fastest method to break it. As you can see, it fell down and went into my inventory, and that's how you collect a big drip leaf. A small drip leaf can't be broken by anything but a shear, but at the moment, a shear's not working, so maybe in the future we'll see it work. And I hope it does work because small drip leaves are used to create the big drip leaves, so it would be very crucial to get one of these. Next, we're gonna go over here to test something. If you stand on a big drip leaf for too long, it will tilt and knock you off. So as you can see, I'm standing on here, slowly tilts, and then I fell off. But if you want it to not tilt, you can activate a redstone signal, and you can stand on it for as long as you like. Finally, the last thing you can do with a drip leaf is crawl. But this is for Java Edition only. So what you're gonna do is stand on the drip leaf till it fully knocks you off, and then wait till the drip leaf goes back up in place, and then there, look, you're crawling. Anyways, that's it to the drip leaf. I think it's a really cool block to add in the game, especially since you can do stuff like parkour or on Java Edition crawl with it. Other than that, I would mostly just use it for fun, and I really think it's a creative addition to the game. Anyways guys, thank you guys for watching, and remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. We'll see you next time.